So we have a new James Bond movie coming out this year, next month if you're in the UK, and then November if you're in America. Counting Spectre and not counting the unofficial Bond movies, there are 24 James Bond movies overall. I actually plan to review all of those Bond movies in prep for Spectre. One problem though, there, this franchise has spanned over 53 years, uh, is the second longest running franchise in film history, the first being Godzilla, and I've not seen all the Bond movies. I've only seen two Connery movies, two Brosnan movies, and all the Daniel Craig movies, so I just don't have the time to watch and review all of them before Spectre comes out. I'll, kill, I'll literally kill myself trying to do that and trying to get them out one day after the other like I did with Godzilla, but I have seen all the Daniel Craig movies as I mentioned, and given that Spectre could be his last time as James Bond, I think I'll review all the Daniel Craig movies. Once we have a new James Bond movie coming out with a new actor, I will go back, watch, and review all of the James Bond movies and prep for that movie whenever it comes out. But first, let's talk about Casino Royale. Casino Royale is the first James Bond film to star Daniel Craig and is a reboot of the entire franchise after the awful, just awful, Die Another Day, but that's a story for another time. So in this movie, James Bond has just acquired his double O distinction and is assigned to track down this arms dealer who basically makes his money through winning poker games. So Bond is assigned to beat this guy at a high-stakes poker tournament at Casino Royale. A bizarre plot to take out a Bond villain, but if the result is a really badass Bond movie that is pretty much like going from Batman and Robin to Batman Begins, then hey, I'm down for it. Now, the last time I saw this movie from beginning to end was back in 2006 when it came out, when I was 15 years old. I remember liking it. I remember being into James Bond even though I didn't really see many of the movies and I remember just liking it thinking it was good then when Skyfall came out I saw a little bit of it at a bar in Santa Cruz of all places and I was like you know I really should try watching this again and so it took me about three years to watch the entire movie from beginning to end and boy is this thing a lot better than I thought it was when I first saw it. This movie packs a serious punch like you would not believe. I know lots of people have seen it, praised it, but uh, coming from someone who's only seen it twice, this is utterly amazing. Let's start with Daniel Craig as James Bond. I remember a lot of people, including myself when he came out as James Bond, was like, wait a minute, a blonde Bond? You can't have that. Because for me, the James Bond I grew up with was Pierce Brosnan, mainly because of the Nintendo 64 game GoldenEye, but that was the James Bond that I was familiar with. So, like, Daniel Craig just didn't look like James Bond, honestly, but he sure as hell nailed that character. He's got the very charming personality of James Bond, He's very smooth and cool, but Craig manages to bring a little bit of himself to the table, giving us a James Bond that is still faithful to the film character that we grown to love since 1962, but also made him a little more darker, a little more serious, and I like it. Daniel Craig, in my opinion, is a great Bond. Mads Mikkelsen plays the film's villain, and this guy is really good. He's very cool, calm, sinister, yet intelligent. He knows what he's doing, but when something doesn't go his way, he will lose his fucking shit. And the result is probably the best method of torture I've ever seen in a film. Not just in a Bond movie at all, but just in film in general. It's not as iconic as something like the laser torture thing in Goldfinger, where it's like, you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. But it's pretty it's a pretty effective torture nonetheless, and especially if you're a man who values his man parts very much, I doubt you wouldn't cringe watching this scene. Cause watching it I was like, oh! Why would you do that to a man? So it, I don't know, it was fun. Then you have a lot of other actors who do a great job also. Eva Green plays the traditional Bond girl in the movie, and not only is she Freaking 
gorgeous in this movie. Like, she is absolutely beautiful. But she's also more than just eye candy. I mean, a lot of the Bond girls have been more than eye candy. But um, she manages to be quite independent on her own. And the chemistry between her and Daniel Craig is very believable. And the ending is very impactful, I gotta say. What happens with her, it definitely changes Bond. So it's a great ending, and she's a great character. And who's also great in the movie is Judi Dench. She plays M, and she played M in the Pierce Brosnan movies, which I found it a little weird, but... I liked it. I guess they thought, you know what? We love Judy Dench's M. Let's keep her for this reboot. Which Marvel, if you're listening, bring back J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson for your Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, if they could bring back Judy Dench for this rebooted Bond, then you can bring back J.K. Simmons for this rebooted Spider-Man. The action scenes are really exciting. They're action-packed and sometimes very brutal. There are some moments in this movie that make me go, ooh, but that just goes to show you how impressive an action director Martin Campbell is, who directed Goldeneye, which I think is one of the best Bond movies out there, but then he did Green Lantern, but nobody cares about that. So the action scenes are fantastic, and what else is fantastic is the opening credit sequence and the song, You Know My Name. It is so energetic, it'll really get you in the mood, and... Man, this movie is just so incredible. Like, what everyone says about it is true. Unfortunately, I don't think it's perfect. It does have some problems. And I might anger some people, but I don't think it's the best Bond movie out there. I mean, a lot of YouTube critics I see seem to cite Casino Royale as the best Bond movie. Um, or their favorite. And if it's your favorite, that's fine. But... I just think something like Dr. No, Goldfinger, and Goldeneye are better Bond movies. Uh, for me personally. Because the things that those movies had that this one didn't was all the traditional Bond elements. Like, there's no Miss Money Penny, there's no gadgets, uh, there's no Q. Um, even when I saw it originally, it felt a bit... While I did like it, it felt a little hollow. It, it didn't feel the same without those elements. However... I'm willing to give that a pass because, again, this is a reboot. Bond has just received his double O distinction. So you know it's only a matter of time before those elements introduce their way into this series. So that, it, it's a very small complaint that I'm willing to let slide. What I can't let slide though, and this is going to be irritating to some people because it's an essential part of the story, the poker tournament. There were some points where I found the poker tournament to be super boring. And it, it can be suspenseful at times, but it just goes on for a little too long. It could have been trimmed down a bit. Um, like, we didn't really care about all the other characters in that tournament. Just uh, Bond and the villain. And another third character. So, I just felt like that was a problem with editing. If they could have trimmed that down... I think I would have loved this movie a little more. I mean, I still love it regardless because Casino Royale, seeing it a second time, is much better than when I saw it the first time. The first time, I liked it a lot. Now, I love it. And despite the poor editing with the poker tournament, in my opinion, I will still say Casino Royale is a movie you need to get off your ass and go see right now if you haven't seen it because it is truly an amazing film. Uh, great bond, great action great song. It's just a fantastic movie all around. And that's my review for Casino Royale. Leave a comment and tell me what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it. What did you think? Like, subscribe, share me with your friends, and this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one.